Hey guys, um, today we're going to start Poor Johnny uh, by Robert Cray. Um, this is a, a fairly slow blues song that um, I've taught in the past and um, we're going to start off today actually with the chord progression that is used for the verse. So there's a little um, kind of a intro lead part that comes in there that um, I'll do in another video. Um, but here we're going to concentrate on those chord progressions because you'll get more out of it I think. Um, learning the chords instead of that small little lead part that's at the beginning. If you're watching this on YouTube, remember you can go to www.mikesguitarlessons.com to uh, look at the other videos. I will do this whole song, I think. Um, and uh, if you want to email me, you can email me at feedback at mikesguitarlessons.com. Okay? Um, now, the first thing we need to do is learn these uh, chords. Okay? Um, just so you know, too, the, the song that we're going to be playing is uh, this one right here. I'll play a little bit of it and then um, I'll stop. I'll play along with this first part. I'm not playing the lead part that comes in. I'm just playing the chords that go along with it, okay? And you don't hear them real loud at the beginning, but this is the song. Okay, um, that was the intro to the song, and again, I'm playing those chords, and they just keep on rolling. After that lead part stops, it just kind of, uh, you keep going with those chords. So you're going to learn the verse part, and uh, you saw me play a B minor, saw me play an F sharp minor, saw me play an E minor, and you saw me play an A. Now, uh, typically when I'm teaching somebody the A chord, I'll finger it a little bit differently, but we can get by with the... Uh, a little easier way of doing it on this song. Um, now what we want to do is start off with our first chord. Um, it's a bar chord um, and I do want you to use this as a bar chord not just play this uh, one note back here but I want you to go bar all the way across so let me show you how to play that. Um, first thing you're going to do is bar with your first finger. Remember barring is just when you take your finger and flatten across uh, all those strings but here we're just going to bar five strings so you don't need this sixth string here you just mute it okay and um, you're gonna press down all those strings with that one finger now in front of that finger you're gonna do this um, I've got my middle finger on the third fret of the B string playing that note got my pinky on the fourth fret of the G string playing that note and I've got my third finger on the fourth fret of the D string okay and then I've got my first finger barring Okay, so my first finger is playing the second fret on the A string and the second fret on the uh, E string. Okay, so starting at at this thickest string, um, it's muted right here. This one doesn't play. The A string is second fret. D string is fourth fret. Uh, G string is fourth fret. Um, B string is third fret, and E string is second fret. Okay, that's our first chord. Our second chord is going to be an F sharp. What I want you to do now, or it's an F sharp minor, what I want you to do from here is basically uh, you're going to bar across all the strings and then you're going to pick this middle finger up and then these two go up one string. Okay, now um, what you basically need to know that's happening here is I'm barring all the way across in the second fret and these two fingers are playing the A string and the D string. So my third finger is playing the fourth fret on the A string. Okay, that note. And my pinky, uh, I, sh I don't know if I said fourth finger or not. Uh, I think the third finger is playing fourth fret. My fourth finger is playing the uh, fourth fret. My pinky is playing the fourth fret on the D string, playing that note. And then I'm barring all the way across on the other string. So basically what I've got here is E string I've got second fret um, A string I've got fourth fret D string I've got fourth fret G B and E are second fret so I've got my F sharp minor right there okay now we're gonna go to our E minor 
if y'all haven't played this yet, it's uh, like this. You're going to take your middle finger, or your second finger, whichever you call it, and uh, put it in the second fret of the A string, playing that note. And take your third finger and put it on the second fret of the D string. Okay? So second fret on the A string and the D string. All the other strings are open. Okay? So you're, that's an E minor chord. Now, we're going to play an A chord here, but normally I play the A chord like this. But for this one, I'm going to let you cheat a little bit. And... Um, you're going to play it like this. The reason is because we don't really need the E string here, the skinny one, so we can mute it. So what I'm doing here is I'm muting the E string with my thumb. The A string is open. The D string is second fret with my first finger. The G string is second fret. And the B string is second fret. Those are all being played with my first finger. And the E string is muted. The skinny E string is muted along with the thick string. Um, so I've got open, second, second, second. Okay, that's our A chord. Um, also for this song you will need a G chord, some form of a G chord. You can have a G, G, I, D, a G fifth would work. Um, just depends on what you like playing. But that'll be for the chorus, so we don't have to worry about that in this video, but you can just remember that you will need a G chord. Um, Okay, now let's go ahead and get started with how we're going to play these chords. Okay, remember we've got B minor, F sharp minor, E minor, and then A. Now, let me give you the actual chord progression and then show you how we're going to play it. Um, the order that the chords come in are this. Uh, a, uh, let me see, uh, B minor, and then F sharp minor and then E minor, A, E minor, A, E minor, A, and then it starts over. So B minor, F sharp minor, E minor, A, E minor, A, E minor, A. Okay? Now, instead of just strumming that like, that, um, which you can do that and that's fine, but um, if you want to, to make it a little more interesting um, and a little more like the song, you know, um, you can finger pick a little bit. I'm going to slide to where you can see my hands a little better so that um, it sounds a little more like the song. So what you're going to do is hold you down your B minor and we're going to grab the four middle strings. Okay, so your thumb goes on the A string, your first finger goes on the D, middle finger goes on the G third finger goes on the uh, B string, okay? And you're going to play it like this. So I go thumb on the A string, then I play my first finger on the D string, so thumb, first finger, and then um, these two fingers, the B and the G string, together, so and then my first finger on the D string again. Okay? There we go. After I play that, I go to my F sharp minor, and I play the same thing. The only difference is I've changed my bass note to the E string. Okay, but these three fingers stay in the same spot, so it's... Okay, then to the E minor. was doing there is on the E minor I had my bass note on the thick E string and then these three fingers in the same spot on the A I had my bass note on the A string and these three fingers still in the same spot okay um, I'm kind of running out of time here so I'm gonna have to make uh, other videos to finish out the little turnaround and stuff that I wanted to give you um, sorry for that but um, again you can find the other videos at www.mikesguitarlessons.com and I hope you enjoy it thanks for watching